Now we're going to learn how to graph polynomials. And the amazing thing is, you don't actually need to analyze them and determine where the intercepts are and what the end behavior is and all this stuff, because we already know a tool that will do everything you need to be able to graph it, and that's the sign chart. Okay, so to graph these, all I need is a sign chart. Now that does require that we factor first, so if your original example looks something like this, you need to be able to factor it. Okay. And then of course, we move on to a standard sign chart. So let's look at this one first. Every factor gets a horizontal line, and we get a line for the total. Then we get a vertical line everywhere something equals zero. So the first factor equals zero, just at zero. The next one equals zero at one, and this one equals zero at negative four. Remember, when you're doing a sign chart, if you don't have the vertical lines in numerical order, the whole thing is messed up and you have to start again. Now, we want to put our pluses and minuses on. Traditionally, it's negative to the left, positive to the right of wherever the zero is, but we do need to be careful of the exponents. An odd exponent, squaring or courting or to the sixth power, well, everything that's squared is always positive. So this one, when we have this even exponent, is positive the whole way through. An odd exponent just behaves like normal. So these ones are negative to the left and positive to the right of everything. Now we're going to multiply down. Two negatives makes a negative. One negative makes, oh, excuse me, two negatives makes a positive. One negative makes a negative. No negatives and no negatives. Zero times anything makes those zero. And this is everything we need in order to graph the function. So, I'm going to start by plotting the places where the graph equals zero. Those are our intercepts. So negative four, zero, and one. And now I'm gonna use the sign chart to fill in the rest of the graph, okay? Remember, we're graphing polynomials, and polynomials have to look like roller coasters. So keep that in mind as we graph. The sign chart tells us that until negative four, the graph must be positive. So I know that the graph either comes down like that or up like this, because it has to end there. And the one of those that is always positive is this. Between negative four and zero, the sign chart tells us the graph is negative. I know it has to start here and it has to end here. So it's either gonna be a hump up or a hump down. Which of those is negative? The hump down. Between zero and one, the graph is positive. It must start here and end here, so it must look like that. And then after one, the graph is also positive. It must start here, so it either goes up or down, and the only way it can do that and be positive is to go back up. Now, make sure you kind of go back and smooth out the connections, especially this one right here. It needs to be smooth and not a point, but otherwise, we have a very good graph of our polynomial. Let's do one more example just to make sure we got it. So I'm going to do my sign chart with every factor getting a horizontal line and then one for the total. I'm going to do a vertical line everywhere something is zero. So I have one at negative four, one at positive four, and one at negative one third. Okay. Then I put in my pluses and minuses. Nothing is squared here, so everything is just negative to the left and positive to the right of wherever its zero is on that line. Then we just have to multiply down. Three negatives, two negatives, one negative, no negative, and of course zero times anything puts a zero on those lines. Okay, so when I graph it, first I want to graph my x-intercepts, which are everywhere the graph equals zero. So negative four, positive four, and minus a third. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the sign chart to fill in the rest of the graph. So before negative four, the graph is negative. I know it has to end at that intercept, so it's either gonna look like this or look like that. And the one that's negative the whole time is this one. 
Between negative four and negative a third, the graph is positive. I have a starting and an ending point, so I connect them in a positive manner. Between minus a third and four, it's negative. Again, I have a starting and ending point, so I know how to connect them. And then after four, it's positive. It must start here, so to stay positive, it must shoot up. Once again, go through and smooth them out a little bit to make sure that there are no harsh corners and that you could build a roller coaster on top of your polynomial graph.